Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making this really cute poncho and for today's color we will be using Aruba C and this is a number four worsted weight yarn by Red Heart. And also today we will be using this Red Heart Super Saver skein. This is a variegated yarn. You will need two skeins of this and this is 236 yards. And uh, depending on what size you'll be making, you'll need at least two. And the color we're using is Icelandic. So this is the color we'll be using. You can use any colors you'd like to use, even one solid color. So let's go ahead and get started. We will be using a H8 five millimeter crochet hook and this one is by Susan Bates. To begin, start with a slip knot. If you don't know how to make a slip knot, please watch another video on how to make a slip knot. But I'm going to put my crochet hook into the slip knot and pull that shut. To begin, loosely chain 70. And it's very important that you chain loosely because you don't want your work to be small. So I have completely done 70 chains and what we are going to do is straighten out this uh, ring because you do not want it crooked and we are simply going to slip stitch to the top of the first chain and be careful to not twist because when you do twist your work will be crooked and then you have to start all over. So now we will begin working in the round and when we start this pattern off on round one we are going to chain three one two and three now that we are working in the round this counts as your very first double crochet so you don't do anything here we are simply going to go into the very next chain and that first one you don't put nothing there and then into the second chain right there, we are going to simply put one double crochet into there. So yarn over and place your hook into the chain. Uh, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over. And if I can get that, <laughs> yarn over and pull through two. The first round is always hard for me to begin, especially if you're crocheting over the stragglers. But anyways, uh, for round one, all you are doing is putting one double crochet around until you get 70 double crochets, and that's about it. Now that we have 70 chains, we are going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. There's one, two, three, and slip stitch to that top chain right there because it is our very first double crochet. For round two, we are going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we are going to be doing our ribbing around the neck. The chain three acts as a back post double crochet. So we do nothing there, but into the very next chain, this one right here, we are going to do a double crochet around the post. So you basically go in the back right here behind that double crochet and you do a double crochet around that. And that is a front post double crochet. And into the next stitch right there, we are going to be placing a back post double crochet. Now a back post is basically the same thing except you're going through the back and it sits in the back. It's basically a front post double crochet um, on the opposite side. So if you were to flip your work, you would see that it is a front post on the opposite side. But uh, what we are going to continue to do is put a front post double crochet into that next stitch. So yarn over, go through the back of the post, and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through two. And then in the next stitch, we're going to put a back post double crochet. And if you guys have not mastered this stitch, by all means, please uh, watch a more very detailed video that shows you guys on how to do this because I really want this to be a very easy pattern for you guys. 
on this day it was over a hundred degrees in the room and I had the fan going on and unfortunately I had to record over because you can just hear the fan and I really wanted you guys to have the best quality of instruction so anyways you're going to continue to do this front post double crochet and then back post double crochet and we will be back in just a minute okay so we have come to the end and you should have ended with a front post double crochet and the next thing we want to do is slip stitch to the top of the chain three right here because that's our back post that's our very first stitch right there so one one two and three the third stitch of that chain you're going to slip stitch to that and that is the end of round two so we are now on round three, chain three, and this chain three, again, will be our back post double crochet. Okay, so we do nothing there, that's our back post. And then into the next stitch, we will do a front post double crochet, just like that. And then into the very next stitch, right there is a back post double crochet, so you will do a back post double crochet. And then after that, we are going to put a front post double crochet right there. And then into the next stitch, you are going to put a back post double crochet. Then we're going to put a front post double crochet. And then we're going to put a back post double crochet. And then a front post double crochet into this next stitch. And then put a back post double crochet and then front post double crochet to this next stitch and then put a back post double crochet and this is going to be our repeat up until we get to the end of round seven and then we will start our increasing and start working on the body of our little doggy poncho so continue to do this and I will meet you guys at the end of round seven when I am ready to move on to round eight so I have just come to the end of round seven and what we are going to do is chain one and we are going to move on to our increasing and the increasing is basically going to make the body um, bigger for the chest because this is the neck part and now we are moving on to the chest so what we want to do is after chain one we want to put a single crochet into that first same stitch and then after that into the very next stitch we are going to put a, another single crochet into there And then into the third stitch right there, we are going to put another single crochet there. And then after that third stitch right there, we are going to put an increase. An increase is two single crochets into the very same stitch. Okay, so after that, you are going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three single crochets and then you're going to increase again right there putting two single crochets there's one and there's two single crochets and then put one single crochet into the next three stitches and then increase again with two single crochets all the way around and we will end with 87 single crochets all the way around so continue to do this and I will meet you guys at the end when it is time to uh, wrap up round eight. Okay, so all we are going to do is uh, slip stitch to the first single crochet that we made right there. Right there. And put your hook in there and then simply 
slip stitch through, chain one, and then we are going to finish off and attach our new color. So I'm going to show you how I change my colors. I start with a slip knot and you can join your new color however you like to do it but I like to start with my hook onto a slip knot and then pull that close and then you want it loose enough to be able to move just like I am showing you right now and then we are going to put our hook into the single crochet that we made um, also where we finished off which should be our very first single crochet right there. And what I like to do is put my hook through the stitch and then holding on to both stragglers, I slip stitch through that little chain. And I like to work over my stragglers, so we are going to chain three and this is going to be our very first double crochet. And for these stragglers, you want to uh, work over these and I'm going to snip mine a little bit because I hate working over stragglers that are really long but you also don't want them too short so keep that in mind you are going to yarn over and don't put anything here because that's our very first double crochet so into the very next stitch right there you are going to put your very second double crochet and during this video, I had a hard time with this yarn. So please bear with me if you see that the yarn is slipping through my hook. I had a very hard time uh, with this yarn and I always do with variegated uh, red heart yarn. Um, so continue to work one double crochet all the way around and at the end you should have a total of 87 double crochets around and just make sure that you have those 87 double crochets before you move on to round 10. So we are at the end of round 9 and I have a total of 87 double crochets so make sure that you count because uh, if you are off by one stitch or one stitch more probably wouldn't hurt but it's very uh, important that you end up with 87. So all I did was slip stitch and to move on to round 10 we are going to chain 3 and then we are going to repeat what we did on round 9 and that is simply uh, putting a double crochet into the next stitch and one all the way around and that's it. That's all we are doing. It just gets that simple. You're only putting one double crochet all the way around and you will continue to do this all the way from round 10 all the way until we reach round 19 okay so this is really the easiest part of the pattern and my personal favorite because you're just working in the round placing one double crochet and if you are a beginner I'm pretty sure that this could not get any easier so we are going to repeat this, like I said, from round 10 all the way until we reach round 19. So go ahead and keep on placing one double crochet around and I'm going to continue to do mine and I will be back in just a second. Okay, so I have ended at round 19. And this is what it looks like so far. To begin round 20, we are going to chain four. There's one, two, three, and four. Now this chain four is a chain and the chain three is a double crochet. So double crochet and a chain one. And that is our very first stitch. So what we want to do is into the next stitch we skip this one right there and then into the third stitch we are going to place a double crochet and then we are going to chain one into the very next stitch skip that one and then in the stitch after that place a double crochet and chain one. The next stitch skip 
and into the stitch after, double crochet, and then chain one. And we are going to keep repeating this until we have a total of 12 double crochet and chain ones. Okay, so this is going to be our 12th double crochet. Now you are going to chain one. And if you look back at your work, we have to count. Okay, so there's the chain four, which is our first stitch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You want to make sure that at the uh, very beginning you have twelve, okay? Because on the other side it's going to have ten. Okay, so now we are going to place a double crochet into that very next stitch right there. After this double crochet and chain one. Put a double crochet, there's one, two, three, four, and there's five, and six, and seven. Okay, so it's very important that you know where your last double crochet and chain one, which is right there. You can put a stitch marker, and this is very crucial because in the end, this first double crochet right here is going to be where we attach our new color, okay? So I'm going to continue double crocheting until I reach the 45th stitch. So go ahead and continue to double crochet until you reach the 45th stitch. Okay, so now I have reached my 45th stitch, which is right here, okay? we are going to begin our double crochet and chain ones so on the 45th stitch right there make sure you make a chain one and into the next stitch we are going to skip that and then the stitch after you are going to double crochet chain one skip the next stitch right there okay so the stitch after that double crochet right there and then don't forget to chain one double crochet into the stitch after skip the next stitch remember to skip after you double crochet and chain one skip and then double crochet and chain one okay and then skip the next stitch double crochet chain one and then right here we are going to skip the next stitch and then double crochet chain one skip the next stitch right there double crochet chain one and then skip another stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch right there, double crochet, and then chain one, skip the next stitch, and this looks right, you don't want nothing there. So we are going to count, we have a total of 10 here, is what I've counted so far. So at the end, okay, you should have 10, like I said, and we will have 12 on this side keep in mind you have 12 and 10 now this is how it's coming about so far it looks really cute and i bet it looks really cute in solid colors too so we are going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three and not the top of the chain four because that is our very first chain right there so make sure that you do not connect to that so what we are going to do here now is finish off and all you have to do is chain one and then cut off your yarn and we are going to begin the body. So after row 19 we are going to flip our work and it's going to have the neck facing down at us and you want to begin with a slip knot and you can join however you like to join but I like to just put my hook into a slip knot and then I am going to go to that very first double crochet after my last actually my 12th double crochet and chain one so that first stitch right after that we are going to slip stitch and chain three to that double crochet okay because if you put it there it's going to be off okay so this is our very first stitch right after that chain one and make sure that you hold your straggler to make a very smooth slip stitch just like that and chain three this is going to be our very first double crochet and like I said work over your stragglers it makes life easier 
and because this is uh, our very first double crochet the chain three right here we aren't going to do anything there so make sure that you uh, double crochet into the next stitch and then just place one double crochet across and that's really it it's very simple and you are going to place one double crochet up until you reach the 45th stitch and the chain one so continue to place one double crochet across and I will meet you guys as soon as I get to the 45th stitch. Okay, so we have made it to the other side. We went from this side over here where our uh, beginning is and then this is the end right here. We are now going to be working in rows rather than rounds. So this row was considered uh, row one. We are now moving on to row two, chain three, and then you are going to turn your work. Now working on the other side, we are going to be working uh, rows, like I said, and you are not going to do anything into the stitch because again, the chain three counts as our very first stitch. So into the very next stitch, you are going to put one double crochet across okay don't put anything there because that chain three is there you will be adding a stitch so go into the stitch right here with one double crochet and then we are doing exactly what we did on row one just putting one double crochet across Okay, so we are going to simply repeat this uh, row all the way until we reach row 23. So go ahead and keep repeating uh, one double crochet and then chain three and turn until your work measures the necessary length of your doggy. Mine reached 28 inches to about 29 inches. Our dog is 30 inches and um, just covered his behind really well and just keep in mind if it isn't that long don't worry because the fringe will help cover the dog's tail so i will meet you guys back as soon as we are ready to move on to row 24. okay so we have ended with uh row 23 and now we are going to begin row 24. No matter what length you have, you are always going to end with this. So chain four, there's three and four. So that's a double crochet plus a chain one. Turn your work and now we are going to begin with the fun again. So what we did for the chest is what we're going to do here. That chain four counts as a double crochet and chain one. So into the next stitch, we're going to skip that stitch. And then into the third stitch, we are going to place a double crochet and then place a chain one. And then after that, you're going to skip this next stitch. And then after the skip stitch, place a double crochet after the skip stitch and then chain one and then skip a stitch again, double crochet, chain one. And I'm going to get a little bit more yarn. Skip the next stitch. Double crochet after that. And chain one. So I'm going to continue working in this fashion all the way up until the end. And I will meet you guys as soon as I get towards the end. Okay, so I've come towards the end and you should have two uh, stitches left. This is my very last double crochet and chain one before the final one. And as you can see, there's a uh, double crochet chain one right there and then there's a stitch and then there's a chain three. So what you do is skip that stitch and move on to the chain three. Going into the top of the chain three, place a double crochet. Okay, so this is our last double crochet. And after that, we are going to chain one. And looking across here, I counted all of my stitches 
and you should have a total of 23 if you ended up with more but ended up uh, evenly then congratulations and um, it, if you're making this for an extra large dog too you know you can make this uh, wider and bigger for your dog especially if they're longer but mine has 23 and what we are going to be doing now is uh, finish off and weave in your ends and then what we are going to do after is start working on the fringe for the back here okay so no matter what row you ended up on no matter what the length is you will always end with this finishing so chain one and cut off and now we are going to be doing the fun part not this is Aruba C. I am using the solid color um, that I began with, which is for the neck. And I think the solid colors look really good. I don't know what it is, but it looks better. And uh, we will be using this color. You are going to need a lot of this yarn for the fringe, especially because you're making it for a large dog or even a, a extra large dog. This is so time consuming. Seriously, put on a movie, put on some music and relax try to at least <laughs> this took me three hours to do so what you want to do is cut your fringe really long and I'm talking 20 inches to have at least 10 inches uh, when you fold it in half so there is the middle and then this is the end where I'm going to cut it take your scissors and cut a very long length and they do not have to be even but preferably have them even and make sure that you even them out before you attach them to your double crochet and chain ones. So what I'm doing is even them out and what I'm going to do is show you how to attach it and this is basically what you're going to, going to do all the way around. You are going to put your hook through the loop after putting it in half the way I am showing you right now make sure that they even out at the bottom because if not you are going to have very uneven fringe and if that's fine with you then don't bother with the step but if you were selling this you may want to make sure it's even to have um, cleaner work you can start from the middle you could start from any end you want just make sure that you know you are in the double crochet and chain ones so what I am doing is what I like to do is take my hook under the double crochet and chain one space and put my hook through the uh, strand right here on the yarn and then slip stitch that through just like that and then I'm going to take the two strands and you want to make sure you get both through otherwise the step is going to be very messy it'll slip through and then you are going to uh, slip stitch that through or better yet single crochet that through and then just pull all the way back okay so that is how you do the fringe and you are going to do that all the way around now I want to tell you that you want to make sure that you don't put this too tight because then it'll tug on your work and then it'll kind of look really tight so what you are going to do is put three strands um, that are in half just like I did this strand right here you will have a total of six so I'm going to continue to do this putting two more half 20 inch pieces and you are going to do that all the way around now if you want to put less then you can do less you can do one individual fringe strand but if you want more of a fuller look you can do what I am doing here and putting three pieces and uh, I put three pieces per double crochet and chain one spaces all the way around and especially for every row that I did and even the backing this took approximately almost 300 strands of yarn and I hope that this step doesn't really scare you from doing this project because it's a very fun and very rewarding project for your pets you know and when I seen it on my brother's dog it was well worth the time so please make sure that you try this pattern out so I'm going to do this all the way around okay and uh, right here I am just putting my third strand but I do not recommend doing that what you want to do is just grab your yarn in threes and slip stitch them through and then you are finished uh, that's a very 
easier and a smarter way to work because when you do them individually it makes life really hard and it can be very tiring too so um, yeah I just wanted to show you for the video sake and you can uh, cut this as long or as short as you want but the longer you have it the more freedom that you have to cut as much as you want when I cut Junior's fringe, I believe I cut about five to six inches long and this is how long I wanted it. Like I said, you can make it as long or as short as you want. So continue working in this fashion and I will be back as soon as I get finished. Okay, and this is the end of the project. We are now finished with our fringe and I am completely satisfied and happy on how this came out. I just wanted to tell you guys that you guys can really adjust this pattern however much you need to uh, the neck part can be adjusted by chaining uh, a chain that fits around your dog's neck and then this part is is um, you increase at the end you know you increase it as much as you can so you have room for the chest and then you just simply end with the chain ones and um, the double crochets and then you just work the length of the dog's back and that's pretty much it and then you just cut your fringe and decide how long you want it and then um, really your dog is the key to figuring out what size is appropriate for your dog if you have a larger dog and you want to follow this pattern I'd say for an extra large size dog go up a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook to a 6 and just make sure that your yarn is suited for the hook okay so keep that in mind thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please leave a comment below if you liked it and do not forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't for more future uh, videos and free patterns that are to come in the fall I really love the way this came out I'm very excited to share it with you all Before you leave, please make sure to check out Hazel's Autumn Dog Poncho. By clicking here on the photo, you may find the free tutorial and the free pattern. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye!